Dear Carrie, since the day I met you, I knew you were going to be someone special. On November the 30th, 1993, you forced your way into this world. I say forced because you could not wait until they wheeled me into the delivery room before you made your grand entrance. Your dad and your big sister and I knew you were going to be one tough little girl, but how tough, we would soon find out. From the time you were able to walk on your own, brush your teeth by yourself, and dress yourself, your competitive spirit was evident. Most of the time, you were the smallest person on the field or track, but no one would ever know this with the skill you displayed at such a young age. God equipped you with the natural athleticism and the ability to learn quickly, which is why you were able to graduate high school at age 16 and got accepted into the college of your dream with a track scholarship. Your road has not always been smooth. In middle school, you came home upset because the kids at school said you were shaped like a boy because you were muscular. I remember telling you that I and many other females would love to have a shape like yours. It has taken a long time for you to realize that your black is beautiful and the body the Lord has blessed you with is yours and is to be treated as a gift from God. You have had to overcome insecurities as well as injuries that could have put most on their back, but you persevered and look at you now. Your family and true friends see you as a beautiful, smart black woman with a heart of gold. Carrie, I am so proud to be your mother. You have overcome so much in your young life. I cannot wait to see what else you will accomplish. Continue to be humble and walk in grace, knowing that you are loved and admired by many. A mother's love is unwavering, unconditional, unyielding, and unbiased. I love you, Carrie, with all of my heart, Mom. <laughs>